Welcome back to another episode of Two Beers. Right. That's one. And one newbie. Now this is a TV show review, so yeah. We're going to be talking about Ozark Season 4, Part 1. <laughs> Here we go. Ozark Season 4 Part 1 uh, Released and produced by Netflix um, I've done a whole rewatch of the whole series with my partner Because she's never seen it And now she loves it um, And it's a really intriguing uh, TV series uh, It reminds me like uh, Breaking Bad um, Except there's a little few differences Um it's not like I wanted to review the whole series. Let's just go on season four. So it takes off after at the end of season three when Helen is blown to bits. Um, Wendy and uh, why have I forgot his name? Marty. Marty. Wendy and Marty are uh, down in uh, down in Mexico. Navarro's having a party, and basically Helen was just obsolete. They they were more important, and the reason for that is that they he Navarro wants to get out. He wants to cut a deal with the FBI and be able to just leave everything behind them. Um, they are also introduced then to his nephew, who's a crazy son of a bitch, Javi, handsome bastard. Um, but he's a crazy motherfucker. Um, so they then go back to 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 Moya. They stipulate the deal. Uh, she's like, no, we need something else. Um, in the meantime, um, Darlene and uh, and Wyatt are still having that fucking fucked up relationship. Um, which is absolutely just... Ugh. Damn! And... And after the fallout with, uh, with Ruth and, and Wendy over her boyfriend, her brother, who uh, was murdered at the end of season three, where she just gave him up. Uh, Ruth then becomes distanced with the board family and then basically goes and walks with Darlene and Wyatt. It all seems to be going great for a forced uh, Wyatt and and... And Ruth are getting closer. Darlene maybe becomes a little bit jealous because they're doing things a little bit differently. And in the meantime, then Jonah also has a falling out with uh, with his mother Wendy because of what happened to the brother. He also ends up going walking with Darlene and Ruth, laundering money for them. He has built his own software, and then the whole season kind of plays out then with. Wendy, she's trying to get him arrested, like her own son arrested, which is a bit fucked up. Charlotte doesn't want to go to college, and the man is really enticing this, that she's happy about this almost. She's kind of, you can see she's kind of going off the, the rocker a little bit because of what happened. Um, Marty has been used of why she's acting like, she's acting like there's nothing wrong. In the meantime, then, Darlene has a uh, an altercation with obviously uh the Kansas City's mob for beating up uh for beating up Ruth. She ends up uh blowing his dick off. Uh, she then says to the dad the his dad, I can't remember his name, says basically like if you want to be like walk with me again, ship the, the heroin, blah 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 blah. So more stuff then goes out of hand. Javi starts coming to the Ozark. He kills the sheriff. Uh, there's also a private eye looking for Helen, and he's kind of he won't leave the boards alone. He's very, he's really really determined to find out or get a signature, just what happened to her, um, because she's gone through a divorce. So that's really kind of like a like a subplot of the story that's kind of like niggling at Marty and Wendy. Um, he's just hanging about everywhere. Their real job is to try and get Navarro to get this deal so he can come free. He, Javi just basically just, he's just running amok almost. Uh, Wendy's got this deal with this pharmaceutical company with the Navarro stand to basically get their drugs. 
things get messed up um and then basically moya says if you like navarro sorry not navarro javi then blows up one of the the vans uh, one of the trucks delivering the the drugs because navarro has been giving moya information about the drop so it's helping him basically seem like he's trustworthy to the fbi don't know about that was just a long spiel A lot, a lot of things are going on and happening. Um, Navarro's going to give up Javi. Um, he says he's going to basically take, he, he can take over, but the FBI want Javi. Then the FBI say uh, that Navarro has to stay for five years uh, and be uh, like a snitch, basically. Give information. He doesn't like that. Lots of crazy other shit happen. And yeah, Navarro gets arrested. Uh, because Moya goes behind the deal's back, fucks everything up for Marty and Wendy. Uh, and what else happens? It's just, it's just, there's a lot of stuff that happens. So then they give the deal to Javi. Uh, and Javi accepts. And then he basically goes uh, and kills Darne, uh, Darlene and Moya. Shoots them both. Rue finds out. And... She goes to Marty's and she goes to Wendy's and she says, I'm going to kill him if you don't uh, tell me where he I'm going to kill him, basically. Where is he? You can't stop me. If you're going to stop me, you're going to have to fucking kill me. Really good scene, actually. Uh, Julia Garner is fucking amazing in this, like she is all the time. I've kind of given a quick summary. What I think of it all, overall, I think it's really intense. I think the characters are really, really interesting. Although Wendy and Charlotte become really annoying this season. Um, Darnell's, uh, Darnell, Darlene's kind of grown on me this season too. Um, Marty's always interesting. Uh, Root is always interesting. Navarro and Javi are really, really good characters, and Javi is a really good. Uh, he's he he's kind of added a lot to this now since Helen's gone because Helen was a really good character. She was real sinister. Now he's real sinister, and kind of the the detective is kind of or the. the the, the P.O.I. private investigator has really taken over from the detective who was killed then a couple of seasons ago. Um, so it was really interesting. There's a lot happening. Um, sometimes it's like, well, how are you going to get out of this one? And then oh, it's TV, they're going to write it. But it's really interesting. It's really engaging. It's fast paced, which is really good for this type of TV show. Because it's on the edge of your seats and you just don't know what's going to happen. Like with, with Helen being shot in the head. Like I didn't see that coming. Um, it does remind me a bit of Breaking Bad. Slight bit of a Breaking Bad knockoff is possible. I don't know. Maybe it, it's there. Except he doesn't become a drug dealer. The family don't know. Um, I can see why it's on the same kind of page almost. Uh, maybe not the same page. Same book. Same book I'd say. Not the same page or the same chapter. The same book in and around. The same kind of dealing with the... The cartels and yeah, I really like it. So I do think this season, this second part of the season, has a lot to offer, uh, a lot more to offer. Because obviously, at the start of the season, you see them get into the family divorce, getting into a car crash, and it doesn't really conclude that at the end of part one. So they definitely are going to conclude it in part two. Someone's going to die. I, I have a feeling it's going to be Wendy or Charlotte that, that's going to die. I don't know why. Um, but one of the family I think will do I can't see them all getting away I think Ruth will live um, Ruth and Marty will definitely survive I think Jonah will survive I think it's, I just, I think it's either Wendy or Charlotte's going to be killed um, but I can't wait till the new season comes now or the second part of the new season and I just oh, I don't want to wait too long but anyway please like subscribe and I'll catch you in the next episode in a couple of weeks because I'm having a break. So, catch you later.